Okay, so what I did when I cut out was I took the time to unbox this, and it's really cool. Now, I'm going to show you the split instruction guide. Just hold the rip core, or hold the back on the side shown, which it shows you holding it like this. Put the rip cord in, it's ready. Pull the rip cord, roll them onto the gate card, and it'll open. So, pull the rip cord, he spins, and then put oh, and then put him on the gate card. He opens. Now, also what I like about him is he's got the f he's got feet, he's got spinning discs on his side, and he's got G power back here, and he's got his um, DNA background dimensions DNA code over here. His G is 970, and he's really, really, really cool because I like the um, Subterra action tree. And also, I'm gonna show you the cards that he came with. Spe um, Bakugan cards, colors, regular gate cards and ability cards are usually orange. Special Evolution Bakugan are purple cards, and Battle Gear, if you ever get a Battle Gear, it's going to be a blue card. Now, I, for the Special Evolution card, I have a, G, um, I have a, what is it called? It's, you have to have two gate, it's the power, gate card power level, that's what it's called. You have to have two gate cards, you have to have one, two gate cards before you can play this card. It's got the Splite art right there. Got splite. Evolves from any dark under 700 G power and unique. After you stand a splite, you may move to any other gate card. So if your friend has a gate card that would take G away, or that would make it so you couldn't do some ability, this will let you move to your gate card, which would give you a better bonus if if that's what you're into. Now also the gate card is Fire Swamp, and that's a Pyrus Snapzord, I believe. And the, just so you know, the subterra bonus for the that would be for him on here is 130. Now I'm gonna show you rolling him onto the gate card. So what you have to do is you have to put it in the back. This will be the front with the little green dot for subterra. And the back, you put that in. You put the rip cord in. You, put, you hold it on the sides as the instruction guide says, and you roll it on. And the discs still spin after he opens. Now when you open it, his head can bob, his arms can go in, but it's really nice. And also he's got these feet that can pop out. They're both connected. So again, I really like this guy. And um, also, what I, what the, here's what the packaging looks like without Splite inside. And then, and that's what he would look like in background dimensions. And also, on the back, that the back. How do you do the background dimension cook? Well. It says firmly rub your Bakugan. So you rub this and heat it up with your finger or whatever you're going to use. And then you you make an account online. You're probably going to have to use your parents' email unless you have one and you can use yours. It, you know, you have a you get a confirmation email and you put in your code and you get on. Then you can unleash your monster. So Splite, he would be a brown version of this Splite on there. And then it's got pictures over here of, it's got like, it, it shows your Bakugan on there. Once you put him in, it shows your Bakugan, his G power, and then it shows like a little picture of him. And then here it shows some kids um, just talking to each other on there, and then it's got battle. So, um, again, this is the uh, sub terra splite, and I'm going to close it up again. So, first you go arms, head down, shoulder parts closed, and then close it. You put the ripcord in the back. You hold them on the sides, you pull, and you drop them onto the gate card. They still spin afterward. Again, he's 970G. This is PB Check It signing off.